I think if living life were an understanding life pertaining to the search for the Holy Grail, I would regard cartwheeling as my search for another Holy Grail. I usually start my day off, just wake up, shower, get ready, the usual. Then I, days like today, not every day, but a lot of days I like to go out for breakfast. Today we're going to my favorite Mexican restaurant. Food's fantastic. Mm. I'm going for the scrambled eggs and sausage. Kind of want a cartwheel right now, but I tried cartwheeling to the bathroom one time, and they they were kind of like, "Not in here, fella." The fantastic breakfast is going to make up for the lack of cartwheels. Here's the meal. I mean, tortillas. We have to take a little bit of bean and smear the bean on the tortilla. And then put some rice on it. The rice sticks to the beans. Then I take some of my eggs and sausage. A little bit more here. And we got that. I take a little bit of salsa, put that on top. Excuse me. Sometimes really good food me really, really, really wants. I mean, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. <clears throat> Sometimes after like some good food. Some people it's like good food and great sex. For me it's like good food and a great cartwheel. Can't beat it. After breakfast I come home and I make myself some tea. I always have green tea. It's my favorite. It's hot. There we go. Oh, that made tea cool. Um, then after my tea, I go and I feed the ducks. I got my little bunch of duck food right here and then after I feed the ducks I, I go to the park and do my cartwheel exercises. I wish I could cartwheel in this kitchen that'd be great unfortunately it's too small but you, know, you have to make exceptions. Sounds good. Give me a C, give me an A, give me an R, give me a T. Cartwheel. I think the first time I cartwheeled, I was probably four or five years old. And, uh, boy, that first cartwheel just opened me up to just a world of wonder. I haven't been able to stop since. 
probably feel like if I was feel like I was gonna suffocate if I couldn't cartwheel. Every year I participate in an annual cartwheeling for hunger. It's a benefit, raises money for the less fortunate. I'm proud of it. Proud to be a contender and a participant. Careful. Close my fingers, careful. There we go. You're a brave one. Yes, you are. There we go. And heartwarming has just brought a lot of joy to my life. It's made me a very happy person. Oh, you did it before. Nope. Oh. I really wish I could cartwheel on water. I bet Jesus Whoops. could probably, Jesus probably cartwheeled on water. I'd cartwheel across this river if I could. There we go. It's usually where I come to do my exercises. I come to this park. It's a good, clear, clean space. To my stretches, get my uh, my blood flowing, and then I'll start doing my cartwheels just to keep in practice and keep in shape. This time of the day is good. Early afternoon. Most of the kids are in school. No one's out here to play ball or anything yet, so I don't get in anybody's way. Nobody gets in my way. Two and a cartwheel is pretty basic. If you're right-handed, you start on your right, and if you're left-handed, you go on your left. I'm right-handed, so what I want to do first is I want to put my right hand down, and I come over, put my left hand down. Then I land on my left foot, and once more, land on my right. Start on your right, go to your left, end on your right. I'll show you. Here we go. Go right in, left, left foot, right foot. Do one more. And right, left, left, right. That's a cartwheel. I'm, at, um, I'm helping my boss, John Thompson, out. He, uh, he's, an, he's an artist, and uh, I help him hang his shows. And today we're hanging a show in a, a library. And um, I think we did a pretty good job. I'm happy with it. I think he's happy with it. Maybe. Just a little. You gotta do that a little bit every once in a while. Good. I'm John Thompson. I'm an artist. And I have to say that I'm really fortunate to have Johannes working for me. He brings such joy to my life. He's been such a big help. I spend too much time in my studio working away in, on paintings and being isolated. And when he comes in and can entertain, entertain me with his cheerfulness and helpfulness, it just adds to my life. And when he's doing cartwheels, nothing could be better. It adds perfectly to what's going on in my world. I like to come out here just because it makes me, makes me feel good. 
I come out here usually at the end of my day just to kind of reflect on what's going on in my life. It's a good place to be. Think about how fortunate I am that, that I can cartwheel as much as I want, almost as much as I want. Very fortunate. I know that when I get older, my body is going to decline a bit and it'll be much more difficult for me to cartwheel. And eventually I won't ever be able to cartwheel at all. But I try not to think about that too much. I try to appreciate the time that I have. And it's great, it's a good time. And I'm thankful for it. And this is a good place to feel thankful. It's a great place to feel thankful.